Well, Val and Tanya, sources confirm that Kim Fox will not be running for re-election. We expect her to make that big announcement here at the City Club of Chicago at Maggiano's in about an hour. Now, the Cook County State's Attorney took office in 2016. The Chicago native who grew up in Cabrini-Green says during her time in office, she's been fighting every day to reform the criminal justice system to make it a fairer and safer system. Her platform has been based on prosecuting violent crimes, not low-level offenses, and righting the wrongs of the war on drugs. But her seven years as the county's top prosecutor has come with some controversy. She made national headlines for her decision not to charge actor Jussie Smollett with writing a false report to Chicago police officers. The case ultimately winding up in the hands of a special prosecutor who said her office made operational mistakes when it dropped the charges against him. She's come under fire as well from elected officials and police for not being tough on criminals. Mayor Lightfoot publicly criticized Fox for her decision not to charge five men who police linked to a deadly shootout in the Austin neighborhood back in 2021. Fox defending her decision saying there wasn't enough evidence. He's been under fire almost since, since she, she first took office, particularly around the way she's handled some prosecutions, some investigations. Remember Jesse Smollett, for example, R. Kelly. And, and, and you know, let's face it, she's had a lot of turnover in her office, too. There are a lot of people unhappy with her. So if she were to run for re-election, it would be a real uphill climb. With Fox not seeking a third term, others are eyeing a run to replace her. Eyewitness News spoke to Richard Boykin, who's a former member of the Cook County Board of Commissioners. This morning he told us he's considering a run, but waiting for Fox to make her announcement. We've also reached out to former City Inspector General Joe Ferguson. His name has been circulating for the job. He says, though, today should be for us to hear from Kim Fox first and that there's plenty of time to talk about what follows. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.